Welcome to another episode of Commercial Property Roadshow. You're here with Helen Taran. Today, I'm actually in Tungabi. So you can see behind uh, there is lots of uh, lots of a uh, new apartments going up, and we're about to check out a property there. So we've got uh, lots of um, lots of new apartments, and there's some old apartments that's being demolished. And I've got here probably about half an hour earlier to the inspection, so that I can walk around the area. So what we're looking at is a commercial property here. Thought that it's always important to do an inspection to start out by knowing the area. Now, Tungabi has changed a lot in in Sydney. It's the it's the west. It's uh, I guess it's it's past Parramatta. It's it's now developing as a hub. It's got a density where it has a lot of ethnic population, and a lot of the smaller houses are getting knocked down. And what is another development site? So. It's worth to go for a walk to see what's new, what's not, and who's who in the zoo, right? So let's go for a walk, and I can share with you what we have here. So we've got this development site. Um, now this has got a lot of the um, the, the Indian, Pakistani uh, population here, uh, and you have some also Middle Eastern populations being thrown into here as well. The mix. So we've got it. This is a brand new development that's just been built a little while ago and it's obviously been for sale you can see that now one of the things to key things when you look at a property is you you look at uh, what is going on in the local area what is new uh, what's upcoming what's the rate per square meter here in comparison and we'll ask the agent all about that during our inspection as well so we've got a block of flats here who's a bit of an orphan that's probably going to get knocked down in the future as well and we've got here, this is where we're looking at in terms of the, uh, the property. So a new building hasn't been, hasn't been built for a long, like hasn't been around for a long time. You can see across the road, we've still got the old houses. Here, yeah, what, uh, 15 to 19, we've got physio, we've got a lawyers, we've got home, so, so we've got physio there. We've got lawyers through there. Let's see if we can get through. Um, oh, look, we can. It's probably the commercial precinct. So this is just the outside of it, and we will definitely be doing uh, showing you the inside. So this is the apartments in there. It's built all around with an atrium. So it seems like there is one vacancy here very small vacancy I'll probably be putting this uh, maybe 20 30 square meters very small we've got finance bear in mind this is probably we're here before 10 o'clock in the morning and you'll probably find the most vibrancy in this area is going to come in the evening in the afternoon so another tenancy here And we've got shop amenities, garage, storerooms. We've got a tailoring service here. And let's show lawyers here. And we've got uh, Dream Choice Homes. So they do a bit of a display center. Display center and then We've got Shea lawyers there. They all seem to be very small tenancies there, right? And that's interesting, a small group of commercial, really destination type tenants. And um, let's go out this side and we can see what's, so we've got more apartments on this side. And Bollywood Trends, let's have a look. So we've got a bit of a community centre there. So we've come back out, we've got the dentist here, which is the another tenancy there, which is open at the moment. Let's have a look, 8.30 to 5. So we've got the dentist there. And then We've got clothing store. The 
they seem to be only open on the weekends which is interesting you wonder how the business make money with opening on weekends and then salon spice is actually the business we're having a look so we're gonna go in shortly um, smell spicy and I'm gonna walk around the area So this is another part of Toon Gabby. Again, these will probably all get demolished. What's interesting is how I talk about how areas change. And as areas change, you'll find that they gentrify over time. And that one, once you've got the location of something, the, the other things change. So you can see that this, when we come close, see that that's all. Now the bottom part of this is an apartment building, which you don't really see in the city as such. But out in these areas, there used to be apartment buildings, but now everything underneath has been converted to a commercial site. So this is actually part of a medical center. So it's been converted to a medical center downstairs. Quite an interesting development. Here we've got, so that's our building there. Here we've got mowers and chainsaws. And that's still the medical center on the other side. I'm gonna go in and have a look at. Oh, I'll, I'll just. Uh, and one of the things we've definitely been googling is um, the the housing prices around here. So let's have a look. So this just looks like a bit of a food store, cafe, definitely a restaurant, most likely. Okay, a restaurant and we're just walking around to the Kundabi station now we're getting to the older part of it so this is a, a bit of a travel it's a bit closed massage place it's open you get a few things that's run down you got a tax accountant you've got a Chinese restaurant you've got haircut that's the new station over there see that back down oh. haircut, hair salons haircut's still cheap compared to the rest of uh, Sydney I'll get my son's haircut for about $25 $28 out in ride over comparison so very local, local food masala tea all part of the ethnic group so one, of the th so one of the things to really look at is how your tenant fit into the area, right? Well, you might get a spice tenant and you think, oh, well, that's not going to really work when you're looking at it as a general, uh, general look. But in a demographic like this where it's heavily skewed to one ethnic group, spice markets actually work, right? Just like in certain areas, you see lots of Chinese restaurants, pearl tea areas, and you think, oh, how do they work? I'll charge you 10 bucks for a tea where you know like the rents are like a grand a week right but it works for the demographics so it's always really important to see how your tenant fits into the demographics and that really works out whether they survive or not in the long term but um, you can see that there's one vacancy around the corner pretty large vacancy we're here at the Tungabi station across the road there's more spice foods, but we actually haven't come across the spice mart until this one, right? So it's been quite a bit of a distance. And this obviously seems to be a different spice mart to the other ones. Probably a little bit more. Well, let's just go in there and have a look. A little bit more different to the one we had. Um, as you can see, generally, this is a com competition. If you were going to look at other the other properties, you want to come and have a look and see what this one is. And you want to see what kind of things they sell in comparison as well. So, got veggies. Very much a, what they serve as an ethnic, oh, look, I do need some glutinous rice myself. Here. You can see that it's all very much demographic driven, right? And then we've got a jewelry store next door, and we've got Sri Lankan, Indian, and, Mex and Malaysian food, which is probably going to be really, really, really yummy food. Um, I've got a Tungabi 
Bistro Hotel RSL. And let's have a look here. So we can see that the units on those um, rundown units are about one bedrooms with no car parks, about 330,000. So quite affordable by Australian standards. We don't know what these sold for. It'll be interesting to see that. I'll Google that and find out. We've got a townhouse here for 500,000. Still, again, very affordable compared to the rest of in Sydney. Uh, you know, equivalent to somewhere on the North Shore, people buy houses at $1.92 million. These houses, you can got one here in Westmead, which is a little bit more upmarket area, $1.49 million. Um, we've got another two-bedroom. This is probably one of the newer ones, 435 for a two-bedroom. So still very, very affordable. And when we're looking at stock list for rent, you can see that three bedroom house rents for about $460 a week. A commercial premise rents for about $300 a week. Uh, the smaller office spaces uh, and high end apartments, the one we've just walked past, one bedrooms are going for $500 and the houses are going for about $580. So two bedrooms. So they're definitely there. Uh, there's lots of rentals, two bedrooms, three bedrooms. You can get them for between you know, from about three hundred to five hundred dollars is what you're getting, and really, when you look at that, it is quite affordable for the for someone who's new migrants coming into the area. So I'm just walking past some different food stores. Uh, we've got again. I'm going to. We've got here more food. Oh, yum 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 food. Wow. Uh, more fruit and veg. Got the accountants, got a discount chemist across the store, tobacconists, dominoes, lawyers. So this is really your main hub, right? The other one's a little bit further removed, but what you're gonna find is that as the areas change, and we can see that there's houses for 900,000, 900,000 there. As areas change and gentrify, you're going to find more and more people in this area that's going to support their local businesses, right? Finchy Health, got chicken, we've got Woolies, more supermarket, got breads, things for sale. Yeah. And when you look at something like this, and something is so cheap, there's another supermarket, uh, and you look at the housing, you think, well, there's really, really, with the population coming through, these are the houses that really will just end up going up because there's going to be more affordable for people. So, fish store. We've got more in the Malaysian food and a butcher, bread shop, which I need to go to, a kebab pizza place. And we've got a bit of an op shop there, a key shop, kebab and pizza. We've got practices and we've got some new builds as well. So that should give you a good general uh, introduction to the area. I'm going to meet the agent shortly and we're going to go in and have a look at our spice shop to see what it shows. All oh, right, okay, I'll just come through. So they know we're coming through. Yes, she knows, but you've got okay. it because you can still reach her. Okay, great. Just couldn't be here on the side. Yeah, yeah. But the tenant knows we're here, huh? Thank yeah. you. Hi. Hi, how are you going? So this is the the um our little spice shop that we're looking at. Very much ethnic driven food here. And I'll just See, and it smells like it too. Oh, drinks. Different types. And then we've got a a store. So this is the outside of it, and then we've got a storeroom inside. So this is the car park in the back of it. So this is the little laneway that comes back. You can see there's even more developments out everywhere, right? 
And so this is a loading dock. And then this actual Tennessee has four car spaces. Which is quite convenient, right? And it's just ground floor. Uh, so residence parking is there. Ground floor here. Four car spaces for that shop. But the shop is... Got to look at here. 125 square meters of shop. Uh, they're asking the sale price is just over a mil. Obviously we have to go through and work through the net rents of the place. There's a garbage room, but this is the, essentially the door that comes in. And it comes back out to the atrium, which we've been through. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, nice and neat little complex. So we've been through the spice shop and I've been for a drive around down the road through to Gabby and you can see there's literally loads and loads of industrials happening around there. So there's even more and we can see more of the houses being demolished and more of the houses being demolished made into, into industrial, residential, high rises going up. So, you know, each area obviously has its pros and cons. Uh, this area, you know, if you hold, you're probably never likely to get a vacancy because the areas are gentrified with all the developments coming up in the area. You're going to find that more and more people are going to demand local services. And as we can see in that complex, we've got Allied Health and Professional. Eventually, the spice shop will probably go. Eventually, the, um, the clothing shop will go and that will be replaced by a professional service, probably maybe a, an accountant or a financial planner. And that's what really what you're holding off for. If you could get that for anywhere between 5 to 6% in Sydney, you're doing well because the play here is actually long-term sustainable gain in terms of capital growth, but also that rent will change because the other developers are not having uh, have commercial down below. And there's all of the stuff that's already in the area in Tugabi are really, really old and people are looking for that new upmarket look because as more migrants coming through the area, you'll find that it's going to be more wealth coming into the area and people will be able to afford more rent. Anyway, that's it for me today. If you're looking for someone to help you with a commercial property journey, build a portfolio, look at where you're going to buy, reach out to us, helentarrant.com, helen at commercialpropertycashflow.com.au, unicorn commercial property, and oodles of ways to find me, order my book, link is below, it's going to give you the step-by-step -step guide on how to invest in commercial property, make sure you order that, reach out to us for a strategy session, and I'll see you in the next video, and I'll be traveling in the next couple of weeks into you know Adelaide, and into inland, into all the mining little towns in uh, up north regional Queensland, so stay tuned, I'll see you in the next video, bye for now.